Well, hey guys, we're here at the Dollar Tree and it looks like they got new skincare to check out. I'm over here in the body wash section and Dermasil now has a new moisturizing body wash, Cool Melon Scented. Unfortunately, it's got the preservative family that is a frequent cause of allergic contact dermatitis. Now, for me personally, I don't use a lot of body wash, but you wanna make sure you rinse it off in total. One thing that happens is people get body wash trapped in the skin folds. They don't rinse it out, and it can end up causing a lot of irritation. Um, they have this here, which is new. Dermacel often has some decent products. They also have a hand wash with, likewise, with the preservatives. Not sure why Dollar Tree suddenly has flip-flops in January and beach bags. If you use like a communal locker, gym, take a sh and take a shower there, that is a breeding ground for foot fungus. Loves that type of environment. So get yourself some shower shoes. Looks like we have a new Dermasil moisturizer. Skin lipid and EFA treatment, essential fatty acids. So with moisturizers, you have ingredients. The whole purpose of moisturizers is to improve the water content of the skin, either directly through occlusives that literally trap the water in and prevent evaporation. Moisturizers also have hygroscopics that indirectly improve the moisture content by attracting water. And they have uh, physiologic lipids that incorporate in the stratum corneum and help with barrier repair. And those include ceramides, pseudoceramides, fatty acids, cholesterol. This one really looks promising because dimethicone is an excellent occlusive skin protectant to, as I say, block moisture loss from the skin surface. And they, they also, uh, unfortunately, yet again, this has methyl isothiazolinone. I'm not going to keep repeating that over and over again, but that preservative is a common reason for allergic contact dermatitis to a preservative. What is this Carol Creamy Petroleum Jelly Skin Softener? Petrolatum is a goat when it comes to reducing water loss. This does not have that preservative. It does have fragrance, which is another common allergen, but this would be a good hand cream. If you're in an occupation where you have to wash your hands a lot and you constantly are exposed to like wet work, maybe washing dishes, mixing up chemicals, or you touch a lot of paper, things come in contact. Those things put your skin barrier on your hands at risk for breakdown. Staying consistent with moisturizers can help cut down on the risk of hand dermatitis. But you have to kind of do it every time that you wash your hands. Pat them dry completely. Make sure you get the water out from between your fingers because water trapped here breaks down the skin barrier. Then put your moisturizer on. It'll really help you to have softer hands, smoother hands. The backs of the hands in particular, the skin here is pretty thin. And so it's vulnerable to water loss, sees a lot of sun damage. I mean, the wear and tear the backs of our hands take, it's, it, looky, looky, this is new. A hyaluronic acid moisturizing cream by Abby Skincare. Again, with that preservative methyl isothiazolinone that people frequently are allergic to. It has trehalose, which is a humectant, and it has glycerin, another humectant. They also have a hyaluronic acid serum. Trehalose, glycerin, hyaluronic acid. The serum has a preservative in it too, but no fragrance. Bolero has a coconut milk and honey hand cream. Honey is moisturizing has humectants, has antimicrobial compounds, honey extract. To what extent the extract is as beneficial as the actual honey, I'm not sure. Coconut milk, I don't know about the milk, but coconut oil at least is moisturizing. Bolero also has a watermelon and hibiscus hand cream. These look like they would be fun, but I don't know how, how thick they are. I really like a good thick and greasy hand moisturizer to really trap in hydration. Oh look, the lightweight hair gel by Dermasil is over here. Hair gels can actually end up aggravating acne. Hair gels and styling mousses and pomades, they can end up triggering uh, acne breakouts like on the forehead or sides of the face. This one doesn't look particularly greasy, uh, but that is something that can happen. Uh, if you use like styling mousses and stuff, it can trigger breakouts like on the sides of the face and the forehead. It's called pomade acne. Bolero came out with some men's products. I love a good gel cleanser. I just like the texture of them. Yeah, now this does have fragrance, of course, but it doesn't appear to have that uh, preservative that people are frequently allergic to, so that's good. This looks promising as a gel cleanser. I don't know about the scent. You don't have to be a man to use this. It's just marketing. 
Here's a gentle face exfoliator. What is in this? This just looks like a, it's got, I guess, silica. May help absorb some oil from the surface of the skin and help facilitate shedding of sticky skin cells. But there isn't much to this that really stands out to me as exfoliating apart from just, see, cleansing the face with, with a cleanser, it helps with exfoliating. It, it helps the cells that are coming off uh, desquamate. Just the action of rubbing cleanser on the surface of the skin, bathing. It's, a, it's a, in effect exfoliating. So my impression of this gentle face exfoliator is it's kind of just like another version of a gentle cleanser. What's in the facial moisturizer? Sort of similar ingredients. Cedar oil alcohol is a wax alcohol. The moisturizing has some hydrating ingredients. Bolero also has a hibiscus and rose scented version of the gentle face exfoliator. Ooh, check out the body butters. Sometimes they have like shea butter specifically, which this one does. This has fragrance, of course. All of these things are going to have fragrance. One of the most common, aller the most common allergen and things that come in contact with the skin. Uh, but aside from that, this looks nice as a body moisturizer. Bolero sometimes has some promising looking products. We've got a mask pack here. Ooh, what do we have down here? Pedicure set? Um, that is not an adequate toenail clipper. That is a fingernail clipper right there. That's too little. You're not going to get good leverage for cutting the toenails there. Um, and these, be careful. I don't recommend trimming or pushing back your cuticle, especially this time of year when you're washing your hands a lot because air and moisture can get trapped, can get up under there and expose the vulnerable part of the nail and that leads to brittle nails. This looks handy if you have a wart to file it down, pumice stone, but if you've got callus on your feet rather than using some of this to improve the callus, uh, I suggest instead using a foot cream with urea and or lactic acid. Y'all know my favorite is carousel, uh, but if you use a pumice stone on callus, it, it smooths it out temporarily but it just kind of comes right back, sometimes thicker. Whereas a keratolytic like urea or lactic acid or some combination of those actually dissolves the glue between that built up callus. Dollar Tree now has dental whitening strips. I'm not a dentist, but these things always give me pause. Like I imagine they increase the risk of tooth sensitivity. While I'm not a dentist, 100% recommend flossing your teeth. So good for your gums. It's like essential. Yeah, don't underestimate the power of good dental hygiene for you know, poor gin, poor gum health is actually correlated with a lot of uh, other health, negative health effects. I love these things. They're really good for getting in between the tight spaces in the teeth. I wonder if this works, the stomp grinding. Now, fluoride in toothpaste is very important for preventing cavities, but uh, a lot of toothpaste, the residue, if it gets on the lips or around the mouth, it can lead to a lot of irritation. And for some, it can be a trigger for perioral dermatitis, which is a subtype of rosacea. You get what looks like pimples around the mouth. Um, can be painful or sort of sting, burn. So if you're dealing with that, try switching your toothpaste to one that is either like strawberry or watermelon flavored, like the kids' flavors. That can actually help because for the the flavorants like the mint and the uh, cinnamon spearmint that can end up being irritating those flavors in particular. So see here, this is fresh mint flavor that would that might be aggravating. Whereas this one, mild bubble fruit, that might be a good option for you to try. I use the Act brand uh, strawberry. I'm currently using and I rather enjoy. And I've come to prefer it actually over like the mint toothpaste. These Freeman Micro Dart Hyaluronic Acid patches are always here. And I've mentioned this before. They look like they would be good just for like a little bit of uh, spot focused plumping. But I do worry that these little micro darts could increase the risk of irritation. A lot of people um, are noticing that their skin is easily irritated by topical hyaluronic acid. That may be because it can potentially enhance penetration of other ingredients that could be irritating. Global Beauty Care has a hyaluronic acid mask here. Um, I think I've seen this here before. It looks pretty promising. It's got mushroom extract, snow, that's snow mushroom, tremella fusiformis, very hydrating. 
Um, now the alcohol denature, and I wouldn't be so worried about that. Uh, it can make it just more of a quick absorbing formula, but it can still be hydrating. Here's the gold mask. Now gold, it does have anti-inflammatory properties, but you have to be careful. A lot of people actually have allergy to gold and metals, and uh, um, this potentially could be aggravating in that regard. But this otherwise has pearl powder, which allegedly has anti-inflammatory properties. Retinol, now retinol, you guys know from my videos, it gets converted in the skin to retinoic acid and that can help with uh, improving collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines. And it also can help with uh, sun damage, improving age spots. One way to introduce retinol into your routine to minimize irritation is something called short contact therapy. I have a whole video explaining how to do it. Um, but essentially it's just, it's just like basically doing a mask. You just put it on the skin, leave it on, for like about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off and you do that and you gradually increase the duration of contact until you're able to tolerate it overnight now this product it's it's meant to be a mask Ooh, check this out canadian hemp seed clay mask clays i love clay i, I love a good clay mask and this is a, a, a pretty large a pretty substantial volume you get here clays absorb oil and impurities from the surface of the skin that can help with controlling breakouts to a certain extent but it also can help uh with your products going on like some people who have really oily skin they're more susceptible to their products pilling like sunscreens pilling over the their oil you know the oil makes it kind of break apart so doing this in the morning can help just degrease the skin allow your products to go on more evenly penetrate better now this does have fragrance as do all the Freeman masks but otherwise it looks pretty good um, and you know if you're not allergic to fragrance it's less of an issue and you're not gonna be leaving this on the skin indefinitely so even less of an issue there. Seven to 10 minutes, has colloidal oatmeal, it's moisturizing, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, those are moisturizing ingredients. It doesn't have the preservative that people are frequently allergic to. Instead, it has diazolidineal urea and isopropanyl butyl carbamate. Now you can be allergic to those, but not as, not as, not as sensitizing as methyl chloroisothiazolinone or methyl isothiazolinone. Uh, the clays in this are bentonite and kaolin. Look at these little bolero whip body butters here. These are, they kind of look like frosting. Peppermint leaf extract is gonna make these a little tingly, but you can be allergic to that, so just be aware of that. Do these have shea? And then it'll appear to. All right. Ah, uh, this. Such a versatile, underrated product, Petrolatum. Uh, it's a skin protectant, great for chap lips. This is, this is probably the best lip balm option you have here. No fragrance, no flavorants, no common irritants that are often present in a lot of lip products, like uh, camphor, which you find in Carmex can be super irritating in the long run. Plain Petrolatum is like the safest, th safest option. This is also great if you get a cut or a scrape, just uh, clean it out with a little uh, dilute soapy water and apply a layer of this and then keep it covered with a bandage. Perfect. In fact, you could even apply it with a cotton tipped applicator. Check out the tips on these bad boys. Do not put those in your ear. Spokesperson for the ENT is here. Um, when you put cotton swabs in your ear, and all it does is push the wax back further. It can damage your hearing as well. Earlier we were talking about perioral dermatitis. Perioral, perioral dermatitis is a um, subset of rosacea. It's like a variant of rosacea. But it's often triggered by the use of topical steroids like hydrocortisone cream. So what will happen is somebody will have like a little rash or maybe even be putting this on chapped lips and they develop perioral dermatitis and then they put more of this on it temporarily alleviates all right you guys overheated there what i was saying is what will end up happening is the person will develop perioral dermatitis and then they'll end up using this to alleviate it it temporarily improves it but then when it wears off you get a rebound worsening of the perioral dermatitis and it becomes more stubborn to 
to fade. So these have any type of hydrocortisone cream or um, any sort of steroid cream has to be stopped. And this can also happen with inhaled steroids like fluticasone nasal spray, a lot of people use for seasonal allergies or um, certain asthma inhalers can trigger perioral dermatitis, especially in kids. Perioral dermatitis can be real, real tricky to treat. After stopping the steroid creams, sometimes it requires oral antibiotics or topical antibiotics to calm down the inflammation. And the De La Cruz Sulfur Mask, I've talked about it before. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll put it, YouTube has this new shop feature. If you tap on the little shopping bag, stuff that I mentioned pops up. I'll see if I can't put it in there. But the De La Cruz Sulfur Mask can actually be helpful for perioral dermatitis. Sulfur is anti-inflammatory and it can also be helpful for rosacea. This Vaseline lip therapy is really good. Um, it doesn't have flavorant or fragrance. It's got shea butter, castor seed oil. Now, some people are allergic to beeswax and lip balms, but otherwise, this seems pretty good. Um, I mean, you can develop an allergy to anything, but I'm just pointing out the more common allergens. For those of you who have rosacea, persistent facial redness, oxymetazolone is actually a prescription topical treatment that can temporarily improve the facial redness. It's super expensive, um, but the over-the-counter nasal decongestant with oxymetazolone can sometimes it's a more cost-effective alternative to the prescription stuff which is expensive the word but you have to be careful with this because you the way this works is you put it on and it will temporarily improve the facial redness there is a risk though that if you use it on a regular basis it can actually end up worsening the facial redness so it's the kind of thing that you only use sort of um, for special occasions, like if you're going to have your photograph taken or you're going to go, you know, to a wedding or something and you don't want to have the facial redness, this can temporarily improve that persistent facial redness, but it can help for sure. It can help take away the redness temporarily. Eye drops we have here. Um, these are moisturizing, but a word of warning, people can end up developing allergies to stuff in eye drops and it can cause eyelid dermatitis. It can really bother people and they don't realize it's their eye drops because when you put the eye drops in, your eyes temporarily feel soothed, but then your immune system reacts to whatever you're allergic to and you can get a pretty uncomfortable eyelid dermatitis. So be aware of that if you're dealing with eyelid flakiness, peeling, swelling, irritation. Ooh, Bolero has their papaya and tangerine peel jelly facial cleanser. This is new uh, with clarifying enzymes. Now, papaya is a has enzymes in it that can be helpful for exfoliating, but also can be very irritating. I prefer um, hydroxy acids to fruit acids. They're just more reliable. But uh, otherwise, this could be a potential option for oily, textured skin. Ooh, check out this protective ceramides clay face mask from Freeman. Now, ceramides are lipids naturally found in your skin, and they are critical for barrier function. Applying them to the skin can help with the skin barrier, and then the clays can help remove some of the oiliness. What are the clays in this? Um, I'm not sure. This looks moisturizing. Licorice root extract, helpful for redness and hyperpigmentation. Hydrolyzed collagen is moisturizing. Oh, this has gold in it too. Beware of that if you're, you know, some people can be allergic to gold. Coconut oil can be moisturizing, although some people find that it aggravates their acne. Then we also have Smile Line Gel Patches. Ooh, I love doing these kinds of things. I do find that they're helpful, personally. It's got a compound from licorice root that's helpful for inflammation and redness. It doesn't have fragrance. It has sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid. It's helpful for attracting moisture into the skin as well as glycerin. It also has panthenol. These look good. Um, now, it's not actually going to remove wrinkles, but as it says, it's going to reduce their appearance. Um, so if you have a lot of little fine lines around the mouth, you can definitely, these definitely can help temporarily smooth those out. What are these eye masks from Bolero here with the, are these a caffeine eye mask? They look like that. Wow, does this go all the way around the eyes? Like like that, cool, what's in this? Oh, fragrance, I would not put fragrance on the eyelids, it's not, I don't know why they put fragrance in eye care products, the eyelid skin's so delicate, it's a lot more vulnerable. 
Do you guys have a fever? Because you keep getting overheated. Uh, what I was saying is uh, the eyelid skin is a lot, is so thin and delicate. It's more vulnerable to uh, irritants getting in and potential allergens. Plus the nature of the muscles around the eyes, they kind of uh, have this accordion-like fold to them that is prone to, makes makes the area prone to trapping irritants all the more uh coffee seed extract i'm guessing is a source of caffeine caffeine can temporarily uh improve the look of dark under eye circles deep puff and it's an antioxidant but if you have dark under eye circles don't expect caffeine to completely change them for you especially you know m most dark under eye circles are hereditary or the result of age-related changes to the bone structure around the eye and volume loss with cheek descent and skincare products are not going to address that. Warming eye mask, lavender scented. This seems like irritation station here. Um, I don't know what the ingredients are in this. I'm not seeing them listed here, which is unsettling. Probably on the box. Let's see. Let's slip the box out. Nope. No clue what's in that. White tea quinoa facial hydrator. Bolero is always coming out with these fancy Ziploc package packages. This is a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. Quinoa seed extract. I have no idea what that would do, but there you have it. Ooh, check out the toiletry bag here. It matches my, I wore my Dollar Tree leisure suit today. I'm all in green and this toiletry bag matches. Anyways guys, Dollar Tree had a ton of great stuff yet again. They always get, they're always getting a new stuff here. It's always a fun time. Um, on the end slide, I'm going to link my uh, prior Dollar Tree Shop With Me video from a few months ago. So check that one out if you missed it. But I hope you guys liked this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.